into a skirt that's coming up. Hello fashion sewers, if you're new to the channel, I'm Colleen G. Lee and welcome to FSB TV. I'm a certified fashion design lecturer and on my channel I do how-to video tutorials on sewing techniques, how to refashion old or even new clothing and so much more. And if that is something that you are interested in, consider subscribing and let's get started. So these are the pants that we are going to be refashioning. And it has been a while, a very, very, very long time, I think. Yeah, very, yeah, not I think. I definitely know it's been a very, very long time since I've refashioned pants into a skirt. A very long time, I think. Anyway, so these pants are what we're going to refashion. I'm going to make it into a pencil skirt, so there's going to be a slit at the back. Now, I'm going to bring the camera down in a moment to show you um, some of the style features on this on this pair of pants. They're kind of compact pants, so it's going to look very interesting as a pencil skirt. The first thing you need to do is try the pants on to decide on how long you want it to be, and do consider a turn up for the hem. I wanted this to be a little bit shorter than what I'm going to be cutting it and I'll show you the reason why in a moment. The thing you need to remember is that whatever pants, whatever pants you are working with, you do have to take in consideration the style and the features that are on the particular pants and then work with that within your refashioning of your garment. So, so I wanted them to be in around about here, but there's a style feature here as well. There's a there's a flat fell seam that is just there so I'm going to cut it a little bit longer than that seam the reason being is that there is the, the seam isn't continued to the back but I want that to be the finish to the hemline on the front so before I turn it inside out to undo the stitching I'm going to cut the bottom of the legs off I'm going to go about 2.5. Give myself something to work to. Need to cut it smaller, I shall do. And then I'll turn it inside out and remove the stitching. So the pants are now inside out, and because it's quite a narrow seam, I'm going to cut that seam but you can just remove the stitching so I'm just going to go ahead and just cut there's a lot of bulk in this crotch area as well it's not nice to finished up at all so I'm going to do that now Passing that way. so make sure it's nice and flat because you don't want to be cutting anything away from the side. The pants is now starting to look like a skirt. The, I've opened up the inside seams and now we've got to work on this area here which will not lie flat because obviously they were meant to be pants but I'm going to it's got a, let me turn it to the wrong side, so you'll have a better view. Then you can see what I'm working with. So we've got a zip guard here, and that's really all the way down into the curve, so it's come quite far down. So I'm going to, to release some of that and remove the double top stitching that's there as well. So I'm going to need my seam ripper, stitch unpick, and just release up some of that stitching. Really there's a lot of mess that's here. Not very well constructed. I'm 
and I don't want to necessarily cut that off. Um, I know I'll have to cut some of it off. So I'm going to, it's a case of working inside and outside of the garment to make sure that that seaming flies as flat as possible because you want it to, to really do look like it was meant to be a skirt. And it's there's, there's a lot of, you can see here, took some gather not so much gathering, a little bit of gathering that's happening here. And that's what you have to work with when you no, I'm going to definitely um take out that stitching there. So, so I've got this happening here on both sides. So we now need to make this into a straight seam as much as I possibly can. So I'm going to flatten this as much as I possibly can. Because I want to get right in there when I come to do my machine stitching. So lining the raw edges together, put a couple of pins in. making sure that I'm happy with the alignment of everything that I've done so far. And it's just this area that I'm I'm a little bit worried about because I don't want to have that pleating or tucking it that was happening on the front that you saw. But we will baste and then we'll fit so I'm going to put a pin there and we should have a straight line. Pull these sleeves up. Comes from there to there, so it's quite a lot that's going to be possibly taken away. It will be cut away, but um Hopefully I won't have to have a slit at the back that is too high and I'll get lots of leg walking movement from my skirt. Yeah. Yes, I'm, I'm happy with that. I think I'll get a pretty good straight line on this section here and it's lying flat so that's what I'm looking for and hopefully that's what I'll achieve as well so I've got the back here I haven't done anything to the back crotch area as yet but the front is looking good so I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew that seam and um, try it on again to make sure that I'm happy with it and then I'm going to focus on the back. So there's my basting stitch and I'm going to start sewing from the hemline towards the crotch area here. The front seam has now been machine sewn and I need to focus on the back. So I need to be coming down here so you're going to be losing quite a lot in this section, probably stopping round about here to make sure I've got a slit so that I can walk. So I'm going to put a pin there. And then, this really has to be super straight, probably. Quite a lot I'm taking away here. So I'm just going to put pins in here in a moment. And this is going to have to go all the way up into the waistline. 
Yeah, about there. And then I'm going to tailor tap, not tailor tap, I'm going to do some basting stitch all the way down to this point here and then try it on before I cut anything away. As you can see, this is the front and yep, it's really tight. That's the side and this is the back and it doesn't quite fit on my just below my waistline on my hip line which I would have preferred but because I'm taking so much in the back here it's kind of going to my natural waistline so I've got a, some room to play with here in order to make sure I've got a nice straight seam so I'm going to take some out in the waistband as well because it will allow me to do that um, but other than that um, yeah the slit I'm going to have it a little bit higher yeah I definitely want the slit to be a little bit a little bit higher so that I can even though it feels comfortable walking in at the moment it's I just think it's better if I had it a little bit more higher not too high so I'm going to stop about here just take it up so I've got a longer slit so I can walk in the skirt and I'm going to remove the belt loop so that I can make the waist smaller and then once I've removed the belt loop I will then make the seam start it from here and take it all the way down to here and back tack back stitch and then I'm going to cut that section off I might actually do an extension for the pleat yeah I think I'll do that see what that looks like so I've removed the belt loop I may reattach that I'm not sure just yet but I'm going to do the extension for the slit on the back. So I was raising it, wasn't I? I'm going to take it out as far as I possibly can. So I'm just going to get my chalk. I'm just measuring it down and then I will cut. I'll sew first, try it on to make sure I'm happy, and then I'll cut out the shaping. So I'm going to take that to the sewing machine. I've sewn the back seam, I'm just removing the basting stitch. And I've tried it on again, and I've sat down a couple of times, just to make sure that I feel comfortable and I can actually sit in the skirt as well. So I'm just going to cut along my chalk line. Just go above that. A little bit or oh, a little bit too far because I want to create a seam here so I'm going to turn it this way I'm going to cut the waistband area like so it's going to be a really thick seam as well so you're going to have to be careful if you are working with a flat bell seam when you take it to your machine I'm just going to do it narrow seam allowance there. there we go so I'm happy with it now so all I need to do now is I'm going to put some away from the front as well is take it to my overlocker or serger or if you don't have an overlock or serger, then you can always use a 
zigzag stitch on a sewing machine. So I'm just going to finish off my seams and along the hemline and then I'll come back and show you the results. All that is left for me to do now is to cut away all the loose threads that I've made and also <laughs> loose threads from the pants themselves. So I have overlocked the back seam and also the vent as well and I've sewn that down to one side and I've also overlocked the front seam as well and like I said I've just got to tidy up a little bit more with cutting away the threads and I've also done the hemline. So let me just show you the hemline here hopefully you can see that pretty well how it's got this flat fell seam happening towards the front of the pants but it isn't at the back so I've tried to keep that feature well I have kept that feature in the front of the skirt which is quite nice really and yeah all I need now to do is to give it a final press and the skirt is now done So what I will do now is I will style it and I will put it on so that you can have a final look at the skirt. It's, it's a pencil skirt, it's a very well fitted pencil skirt. A couple of tips and advice. When you're working with a pair of pants that you want to change into a skirt, if it has any features, try and keep them within the skirt if possible. It just makes for an interesting style in your skirt. Do remember that when it comes to the crutch area, you want to make sure you've got enough so that you feel comfortable in the skirt and you can walk and you can move and you can sit in the skirt. So um, I think mine was a success and as I've said earlier, it has been a long time since I've, I've made a skirt into, pants into a skirt. But it was, it, 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 it's a success and yeah, I'm looking at it now and um, I'm happy with it. It may look a bit unusual in shape, shape wise, but that's fine, you're refashioning a, you know, a garment into a different garment. So... Do make sure that when you are refashioning garments that you know you're going to have them for a long time that's the whole purpose of refashioning so i'm going to now put it on i'm going to style it a little bit so that you can actually see the final result and if you enjoy this project give it a thumbs up please do share and i will see you next time